We're here to showcase university caterers, their skills. They're here to have fun, they're here to learn, and they're here to showcase what they do. We have the barista, we have the front of house, we have the static, we have two chef competitions. So it's for everyone to get together, network, and actually you know, try and find out who's producing good food, good service, and you know, just have a really good time over two days of live competitions. This year we've changed the Chef's Challenge, which is a team competition. Normally there's three in a team, but this time we've reduced it down to two in a team and we've introduced a mystery box of ingredients so they don't know anything about what they're going to be cooking with until a few hours before the competition starts. The Chef's Challenge will be much more difficult this year. They won't have any time to practice. I think you'll find the winning dishes will be pretty spectacular. The barista is going to be pretty special this time. We have 25 baristas, live competitions, they're going to be mic'd up, there's going to be music playing, there's going to be a compare. Going to have a real buzz, nice bit of networking going on there, so really looking forward to that, very excited. The most thing I'm looking forward to at the moment is I think the salon, because that's a fairly new venture, and I think there'll be some interesting things for people to see. That's more of a static competition. The competitors for that will prepare the dishes in advance and they present them ready for the judges. Service Skills Challenge, there's 14 candidates across two days serving a three-course lunch with wine to guests which they've not met before and it's all about them welcoming them, serving that lunch as best they can and being as welcoming as they can. We also have a Chef of the Year competition, that's an individual competition. They have to produce a two-course starter and a main course based on street food, food on the go and it's, it has to be based on a student menu. It's going to be very competitive, it will be of a high standard but it's very much on a budget to constrain that one. The guys are all top-notch, they are all major leaders in what they do. People enter this with a, with a view they want to win. These awards are pretty prestigious, so the guys take it very, very seriously. It will be amazing. The standard is just phenomenal, whether that's a, a, a superb speciality coffee or whether that's a beautiful dish or whether they can serve in an environment to a high standard. It's all about learning, developing, you know, we're all constantly trying to find something new and being here at Blackpool will allow that, especially when they get decent and positive feedback from the actual judges as well. The judges we have are all very seasoned campaigners, they judge in not just the Tuco but Hotel Olympia and all the major events well, in this country and, and with some judges throughout the world. There is a lot of networking that goes on. We're all here to learn. I don't think any of us think that we know it all. The build-up to the competition is tense, but once it's over and done with, they've done all they can, then they can relax and let their hair down a little bit. Or a lot. <laughs> We do everything from feeding a student their breakfast to fine dining. Food's so important for students, they want to know that they're getting healthy food, good food. The whole experience from whether you're a student to whether you're a visitor at university is so diverse that it's really important that whatever we do is of a high standard.